Hi everyone, based on my last video, um, I was quite curious to start mixing the greens because I wasn't too excited about the watercolours uh, and I'm talking about the saint French watercolours, Art is Great but, um, and it's a botanical watercolour set and all 12 colours are picked by Billy Shawl. So, I am going to attempt and mix as many greens as I can. So I've squeezed out some of the colors and I'm actually going to tell you what they are again. So this is lemon yellow. This one is Sennelier Yellow Deep. Um, the next one is Quinacridone Gold. French Ultramarine Now this one is Cobalt Blue And that's the one that's like impossible to pronounce um, So I have to look up how it's spelled. It's Phthalocyanine Blue Okay, so this is next day now, and um, unfortunately I didn't film this part, um, but I'll quickly explain. So, um, I've got six colors here, which came in this Sennelier Botanical Watercolor Set. Twelve colors, picked by Billy Shawell. And then, basically... Um, I've taken the three yellows, the lemon yellow, Sennelier yellow deep, Conacridon gold, which by the way, these two seem quite granulating, and French ultramarine cobalt blue and phthalo cyanine blue, and most of them seem also quite granulating. And then what I've done is I have used first a blob of um, one of the yellows then I would go in and add for example here French ultramarine and then I would add more French ultramarine and I would do the same thing with these two other colors within the lemon yellow and then I've done the same here with the Sennelier yellow deep I hope that makes sense um, and so these are the colors that I came out with. So these are obviously on a on a more blue kind of um, scale. And then I went ahead and I've done the same thing, starting with the blues first and then adding the yellow and then intensifying the yellow. So wherever there is a double plus, it just means, um, let me see if I can zoom in for you. It basically means that there is more of the of the pigment so I hope you can see like that um, just zoom out a little bit here we go and yeah so that's what I've done so mostly the greens um, that I was looking for I achieved with with this um, mix combination these are lovely greens here these are a little bit unnatural well depending what you like 
but I like these greens and from the, these mixes I don't like a single green I do like um, some of the blues um, the kind of turquoisey blues look lovely I also then achieved a bunch of neutrals and like yellow ochres and siennas that type of colors and um, some of the muddy greens are quite pretty as well so I do like this one so this would be um, phthalo blue with um, queen gold queen acridon gold and um, this one would be the same phthalo blue but with sennelier yellow deep so they're quite nice um, having said that I actually thought I would achieve more greens and have a bigger variety so um, yeah. um, the memory card got full so I had to stop there so I was saying that um, the colors that I find quite um, different or unusual um, is the fact that there is uh, a big color um, separation pigment separation in a couple of these so I'd say that this one this one and this one are probably the most that it comes across there are some in in some of a little bit of it in in the other colors as well but these are the most so looking at it it's basically lemon yellow and french ultramarine and then same thing with um Sennelier yellow deep and french ultramarine so um it makes me think that their french ultramarine is not only quite granulating but also has that pigment separation um it also does it here but you can't see it as much um and then further down here i also have it with cobalt blue um so it's to be expected cobalt blue generally as a rule is quite granulating and so then it happened quite strongly here with the Sennelier yellow deep mix so it hasn't happened in the other mixes over here so i'm not sure why it happened more here probably because i had more blue and that makes me think that it's these two colors that have coasted predominantly so um i do have a um another video where i'm doing um the swatches of all of the 12 colors and just a first impressions um, review of the palette but i have to say that um my surprise from swatching these um comes from obviously i'm not a um a botanical artist in any way um but i thought that what you need for botanical artistry is for the watercolor to be very smooth because you know you need to work on such a um delicate in such a delicate way where you layer layer the colors that you don't want any granulation at all this is what i thought um, and the other thing is transparency is very important because you're going to um, uh, glaze the colors you're going to layer them and so you can't really have opaque colors i thought um, for botanical um, watercolor paintings but having worked a little bit with the Sennelier watercolors specifically those um, 12 that were picked by Billy Shawl, I'm a little bit surprised to see to see this and um, and like I said this is just uh, my um, point of view I'm not saying that these watercolors are not great um, but you know for for what i do not being a watercolor um a botanical watercolor artist i um <laughs> i'm telling you how how i feel about these so i hope um it helped you to see what kind of greens and actually blues and neutrals you could mix with these six colors um, I was hoping for a slightly wider range of colors or more interesting um, color range and I was also hoping for less granulation and less opacity 
um, most of these colors look very opaque but I will do a transparency test separately where I will swatch every single color and test them for their transparency. Thanks for watching and see you soon!